Hey guys, welcome back to Laravel 5.5, new features from the Dev Marketer channel. I'm gonna go through this one really quick because it's a basic one, but I think it's an important one to focus on so you guys understand it because it's a feature I think you'll start using a lot going forward with your Laravel development. This is, we're talking about a new migrate command called migrate fresh. So let's go through, let's go to our terminal real quick and look at these real quick before we go, I wanna show you, we've got all the posts that we created in the last video. We've got a bunch of users that were randomly generated. That's the current status of our table. So if we go through here and we run PHP artisan, we're gonna list all of the migration commands, uh, migrate commands. There we go. So let's go ahead and run these. You can see we've got all the commands right here that we have options. Okay, so now you guys know a lot of these, you can see um, we have migrate rollback. This allows us to roll back the most previous uh, migration, or we can actually do steps. So we can do the last couple migrations or whatever, depending on our use case. And then we have um, also our migrate reset. This basically just runs the down command for all of our migrations, gets us back to the beginning. So we have an empty database. And then we have our migrate refresh command, which does that, but then it also runs the migrations again to get a nice clean state of all of our current migrations. And now we have this new migrate fresh command. So what's the difference between all three of these? Well, the most important thing to remember is that, and let's go through and run these real quick just to, to see how they work. So let's go through and run PHP, let's clear this out, PHP artisan um, migrate, and we'll do refresh. This is a command we've had for a long time. It rolls back all of our migrations, gets us back to empty, and then runs all the migrations again to clean up everything. So if we refresh this now, these will all be empty because we've taken all the migrations back and then ran them. Now the important thing to remember is it's doing a rollback command. So it's rolling back based on the down function in each migration. Now how many of you guys have had this problem where you actually have an error in your down in one of your down files. It might not have been you that wrote it. We're not gonna point fingers, right? Could have been someone on your team or whatever. And so whatever reason, you're not able to actually roll back your migrations. Um, it causes a lot of problems. And if you're doing PHP artisan uh, migrate reset, it does the exact same thing. It actually requires all those down functions to be working properly. However, what's different about this, if we done migrate fresh, this is the new command, what it actually does differently is it just simply drops all the tables. It doesn't run the down commands for each migration. It just drops all the tables and then runs the migrations again. You end up getting to basically the same point um, as the refresh command, but it simply just clears out the database, just deletes all the tables in the database and then runs them. So it's like running it fresh for the first time. This is gonna be really good because a lot of times if you're rolling back all of your migrations, doing the down commands is kind of pointless if you're running back all of them. The down commands are great for rolling back a few migrations, but if you're just gonna start over, you might as well just start over and just delete everything. And I've actually had problems where I can't successfully roll back a migration because of some error in my down command in the migration. So this is gonna solve that, and overall it's just easier and faster. So um, we don't actually have to run all of those things to roll back the database. You just drop it all, run it fresh again. So that's basically it. That's all there is for the migrate fresh command. That's all there is to show you. You get the same result, but I do recommend using this going forward. It's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. I know now whenever I wanna redo my migrations, I'm just gonna run the PHP artisan migrate fresh command instead of the refresh. So I just want you guys to know the differences between the two because there are differences. There might be use cases for one over the other and that is what's happening. With the fresh command, you just drop everything and then run all your migrations again. With the refresh command, you actually run the down command functions for all your migrations and then run the up functions. So it's a little bit different, but you get usually about the same result. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're gonna talk about collection dumping, just another function that's added on our collections, another little helpful tip. I'll see you guys there.